All right, today I want to share with everyone about cubital tunnel syndrome. So cubital tunnel syndrome is basically a compression of the ulnar nerve that is running right from your shoulder down to your elbow and then up to your fingers. And the cubital tunnel syndrome is the compression of the ulnar nerve which is in between these two bones. Now I don't exactly remember the technical terms of these two bones but I'm gonna have it written on either one of these uh, sides. And so a couple months ago I was sleeping and I've noticed that every time when I wake up in the middle of the night my both of my fingers get really numbed and I would be massaging it a little bit just to get rid of the numbness and then go back to sleep. And then I noticed the constant numbness like every two three other days and I think it boils down to because when I sleep, either I sleep sideways and have my elbow bent like that and then that causes the compression of the nerve and then you get numbness on these two fingers. Now, when did I decide to go to the doctor? One day when I wake up, the numbness just didn't go away. So I decided to go to the doctor and have it checked up, an orthopedic surgeon actually. And then the orthopedic surgeon said, let's send you to the neurologist to do a test. I believe it's called EMG test. It's a nerve conduction test to see if the nerves is okay, as well as a muscular test where they put needles, different parts of your elbow and your fingers to see if you can still move your, your fingers. Now, the result came back indicating that I have mild cubital tunnel syndrome as well as carpal tunnel syndrome. Got back to my orthopedic surgeon and he said, look, the only way to release the cubital, uh, the, the ulnar nerve so that I don't have the numbness in my fingers is to have it cut two, three inches at the elbow and then just move the ulnar nerve above the bone. And then it would sew the, uh, the, the muscles together where the ulnar nerve would lie or uh, in between the pouch of the muscle. And then that way when you bend, it doesn't compress on the nerve. Here goes the thing. I decided to delay a little bit with the surgery and it was a mistake because uh, I noticed that just within two weeks after the orthopedic surgeon told me to get the surgery, I noticed that I lost muscle. And being Asian, I love to use my chopsticks and one day when I was using my chopsticks, I was not able to hold the food. And that's when I noticed that, you know, it's time to get the surgery done. So with that being said, tomorrow morning is my surgery and I want to make this video to let you all know the reason why I have cubital tunnel syndrome I mean, due to the compression of the nerve and I'm hoping that tomorrow after the surgery depending on the uh, anesthesia in my body and the pain, all of that good stuff, if I'm able to make a video just to let you know that I just got back from the surgery and obviously I'll be all band-aid from the shoulder down to the, the wrist. Well, we're going to find out tomorrow. And then I'll keep you updated as to my recovery time and how long it takes in order for me to release some of the numbness as well as gaining the muscles back. Now, I am an athlete. I practice uh, martial arts and I do that on a constant basis. So I really need these fingers to be in full motion again because as of right now, every time when I'm, I'm touching it like this, I, I really cannot feel the fingers. And even if I put two fingers together like that, if I close my eyes, I don't even know if these two fingers actually touch each other or not. So I'm looking forward to the surgery and I'm looking forward to updating uh, the surgery for you guys tomorrow. All right, everyone. So I just got back from the surgery. As you can see, I am wearing a sling right now. And it has been, was it two hours ever since I got back? Still under anesthesia. A little bit dizzy. Just want to make this video to let you all know that. Hey, you know what? I got my surgery done. The entire right 
arm is numb and they say it's not gonna go away for the next uh, 10 to 12, 12 hours. Yeah, it kind of sucks when you have such numbness and you can't move your arm at all. So, all right, I'm going to rest up and turn off this video and then share with you all again in the next 12 hours. All right, everyone, I'm using my cell phone to update the surgery. It has been, let's see here, I got out at around 12 o'clock, so it's... 5.30, five and a half hours, almost six hours. Yeah, I think I got out around again. 11.30, they asked me if I wanted the option of having the numbness injection also numb the entire arm. And I, I gotta tell you, when they put the needle at my collarbone area, the, my, my neck muscle, a little, little bit further, I, 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 one hand is holding the cell phone right now and I can't even use the hand to point and there goes my dog barking and I, I chose that option it's it's a nice option to have so that you don't have to deal with the pain your arm can be numb the entire time the only thing right now is oh my goodness I can't even move the arm at all and being in this position for the last five and a half hours has been extremely uncomfortable and they said I won't be able to feel my fingers until 10 to 36 hours. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that 10 hours. I, I want to feel the fingers again. I want to move a little bit because this is too much construction. But thank goodness that the anesthesia uh, has been wearing off and I'm able to make this video. All right. So this is day one. And I'll get back to you. I can't believe it, but it has been for the last four months now that I finished the surgery. And just want to give you an update. Here goes the stitches that has been removed from the surgery. And I'll tell you what, for the last four weeks, I still feel the numbness on these two fingers. It feels as though that the surgery didn't help at all. But I need to say that the most the range of motion has helped a lot. See, back then, if I would have done something like this, I would have felt the nerve actually would pop. But now I have this range of motion. I have this range of motion. And if you have been doing the flaws, that's what some of these YouTube videos have shown. This kind of position here doesn't hurt at all. So the range of motion has helped a lot after the surgery itself. However, the numbness of these two fingers are still there. Every time when I'm holding a chopstick or even a knife to cut something, I feel like the muscle hasn't gotten back. It's kind of frustrating when you try to do these daily routines and it's just not there. Even holding a pen to write, you know, when you hold a pen to write, you will rest your finger onto the piece of paper or onto any kind of platform or base. And it's quite difficult after 10 words or say, let's say, I would not be able to control the, the fingers anymore and the numbness would just kind of hit me and I would just have to give up. But granted, I would say that the first two weeks, the numbness of this elbow, especially from the forearm down to pretty much underneath of the bicep it was kind of unbearable. It, it was difficult to lean onto a table and then suddenly not able to feel your arm. But after two weeks, I was able to feel slowly down approaching to my elbow. And now at the fourth weak point, I only feel the numbness on this area and but at least you know I have range of motion again the only thing is these two fingers are still numb now based on what my doctor said after three to six months that's when you start feeling the muscles are rebuilding or getting stronger in order for you to start moving again so I cannot wait like I said it has been four weeks after the surgery and hopefully at the third month 
I'm going to make this video again uh, just so you know how I have been improving because I cannot wait until I start to do my regular routine again like playing tennis or doing my karate because at, at the end of the day karate is my passion and I want to make more videos so that I can start you know, showing techniques and uh, do my daily routine again. With that, thank you very much for those of you who have been watching and if you like the information that I gave you, please give it a, a thumbs up, a like and I will appreciate it and I can't wait to produce more videos. Thank you.